Hey there! You go to your cardiologist, full checkup, everything looks perfect. LDL, beautiful. HDL, the good cholesterol, fantastic. Blood pressure, totally normal. Your doctor smiles and says, you are in great shape, your heart's better than mine. And then you have a heart attack. Sounds impossible, right? I've seen it happen more times than I wish I had. And do you know what every single one of those patients had in common? No one, I mean no one, had ever measured their LP little a. Did you know there's a molecule in your blood that can be six times more dangerous to your heart than bad cholesterol? And almost nobody has ever heard of it. I'm Dr. Andre Wambier, I'm a cardiologist for over 20 years and today I'm going to show you why lipoprotein little a or LP little a is the silent criminal that can attack your heart even when your LDL is perfect. I'll review the six reasons this molecule is so dangerous and what you need to start doing today. Stick with me until the end because reason number one will completely change how you look at your next checkup. Before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and tell me in the comments, have you ever tested your lipoprotein little a, type yes or no? And if someone in your family had a heart attack before 60, tag them right now. This could literally save a life. What is lipoprotein little a? Most people have never heard of it. LP little a is made in your liver. It's a type of lipoprotein, meaning it carries fat through your blood, just like LDL and HDL do. Think of your bloodstream as a highway. HDL is the garbage truck. It collects fat from your arteries and take it away. LDL is the dump truck. It unloads fat into your artery walls and builds up plague. But LP little a, imagine LDL wearing a sticky inflammatory coat. That coat is called apolipoprotein A. That sticky layer makes it cling to artery walls, spark inflammation, and for tiny blood clots, setting the stage for heart attacks and strokes. Here's what you need to know. The ideal is under 30 milligrams per deciliter. High is above 50, and extremely high, around 180 milligrams per deciliter. And there's the twist. You only need to measure it once in your life because it's genetic. It stays stable for life. What are the reasons the LP little a is so dangerous? Reason number six, LP little a is up to 6.6 .6 times more atherogenic than LDL. Atherogenic just means able to clog your arteries. And when we look particle by particle, LP little a can be 6.6 .6 times more powerful at forming plaque than LDL. That's not a small difference, that's a ticking time bomb. A huge genetic study from the UK Biobank with over 500,000 people found that LP little a was associated with 6.6 .6 times higher risk of coronary artery disease compared to LDL particle for particle. Translation, if your LDL looks great, a high LP little a means a hidden killer is still working overtime to block your arteries. And get this, the latest data show that about one in five Americans have elevated LP little a, over 50 milligrams per deciliter. Often without knowing it, that's 20% of the population. Now, if it can wreak havoc, in your arteries, wait till you see what it does to your heart valves. Reason number five, it turns your aortic valve 
into stone. Ever heard of aortic stenosis, the valve calcification that forces heart surgery? Rock legend Mick Jagger had to get his aortic valve replacement. He's lean, active, but genetics doesn't care. The aortic valve is your heart's main exitor. When LP little a builds up there, it deposits calcium, triggers chronic inflammation, and literally turns that valve into stone. The result, shortness of breath, extreme fatigue, fainting, and in severe cases, sudden death. I once treated a 58-year-old patient, no diabetes, no high blood pressure, LDL at 80, but his LP little a 220. He needed valve replacement surgery. You don't want to discover that too late. Reason number four, extreme levels are a cardiovascular nightmare. The newest guidelines make it clear. When your LP little a hits 180 milligrams per deciliter or higher, your cardiovascular risk skyrockets. Even if your LDL is perfect, HDL great, blood pressure normal, a LP little a that high increases your risk of heart attack or stroke by 200 to 300 percent. That's the same level of danger as having diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol altogether, equivalent to having familial hypercholesterolemia, the condition that causes artery blockage in teenagers. Now, if you have diabetes or pre-diabetes, listen closely. Diabetes alone raises your heart risk. Add high LDL, the fire grows. But combine diabetes, high LDL, and high LP little a, and you're pouring gasoline on the fire. If you are diabetic, you need to ask your doctor to test your LP little a at least once in your life. If it's high, your LDL targets must become much stricter because otherwise the fire explodes. Reason number three, it's in your genes. Your LP little a level is written in your DNA. The LPA gene decides it at birth and it stays with you for life. Keto diet doesn't change it. Intermittent fasting, nope. Working out six times a week, great for our health, but your LP little a stays the same. I had a 42 year old patient with heavy carotid plaque. Her LP little a 190. We tested her family, mom 210, two stents. Brother, 185, plagues two. Daughter, 195, at just 18 years old. That's why guidelines recommend cascade screening. If yours is high, test your parents, siblings, and kids. You could literally save a life. Reason number two, it's an independent risk factor. Even if every other number in your lab work is perfect, a high LP little a keeps you at high risk. The 2025 guidelines are crystal clear. LP little a is an independent cardiovascular risk factor. It acts alone like a loose wire waiting to spark. So, even with perfect LDL, perfect blood sugar, normal blood pressure, if LP little a is high, the danger remains. Reason number one, there is no approved medication to lower yet. And this is the most frustrating part. Right now, there is no FDA approved drug that directly lowers LP little a. Statins like atorvastatin or rosuvastatin are great for LDL, but they barely touch LP little a. Sometimes they even raise it slightly. That's why so many patients with perfect cholesterol still suffer heart attacks. PCSK9 inhibitor that 
powerful injectable cholesterol drugs like Gripata or Preluent or Cibrava can reduce LP little way by around 20 to 30 percent. They're helpful but not enough if your levels are extreme. So what can you do? Even without a direct treatment, knowing your LP little way is high completely changes your prevention plan. First, your LDL goal becomes much lower. Aim for under 70 milligrams per deciliter or even under 55 if you're at high risk. You can't fix LP little a, so you compensate by making LDL zero room for damage. Second, you need imaging earlier. Ask your doctor about a coronary calcium score or a carotid ultrasound sooner. These scans can detect plague before you ever have symptoms and they save lives. Three, your lifestyle has to be laser focused. Eat clean, move daily, quit smoking, manage stress. These don't lower LP little way, but they reduce inflammation, blood pressure, and LDL, shrinking total risk. Four, your doctor may start statins or PCSK9 earlier, especially if you have diabetes or a family history. And there's the good news. There are new therapies in late stage trials right now that lower LP little way by up to 80 or 90%. I have patients enrolled in these studies and the results look incredible. If this get approved, they will be game changers. But until then, knowledge is your best weapon. So, who should test for LP little a? According to recent guidelines, when? From age 30, as part of a general risk screen, and definitely by 50, when cardiovascular events start to rise sharply. How often? Once in your life. It's genetics. It doesn't change. What you should do tomorrow? First, ask your doctor for an LP little way test at your next checkup. If you have never done it, do it now. Second, if it's elevated above 50 milligrams per deciliter, go more aggressive on LDL. Aim below 70 or even 55. Third, discuss imaging, calcium score or carotid ultrasound or an angio CT scan for your coronary arteries. Fourth, tell your family to get tested. Parents, siblings, kids, if you have high LP little a. Did you find this helpful? Then hit like, share this video because this knowledge saves lives. Now that you know about this hidden genetic risk, you want to watch my next video where I will show you a simple test you can do at home that reveals if you are ready at higher heart risk. I'm Dr. Andre Wambier, I'm a cardiologist, and this is Dr. Dre Health Tips. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay strong, stay informed, and take care of your heart. Thank you so much.